the R video tutorial on agent based models part four. Again, we're picking up where we left off last time. Agent based models, each individual in them is an agent and they have attributes and they initiate how they interact with behaviors. We're looking at the COVID-19 scenario. Right now, we're just looking at whether you're susceptible or exposed. Last time, we ran the model, and we ran it a bunch of times to see that everybody became exposed. Our goal this time is to try to look at and summarize the information without having to constantly look at the list. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset everything. So I'm going to get a new group of people, new group of agents. I'm going to look at them really quick. Type in here agent one, and there's our list of people. E means they're exposed, S means they're success susceptible, and here's our list of people. Here's our code that we went through last time. We're gonna run this through each and every person, and it should update our agent one. So I'm gonna look here, agent one, and notice now I have two other exposed people. I have two other exposed people from this. And notice that last time we reduced the chance that you would become exposed, given you just interacted with them. But what we want to do is not have to look at this list, because right now I only picked 10, and I knew I purposely picked 10, so that we could look at the answer. But what we want to do is we want to be able to summarize this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to summarize agent one, dollar sign, state. Okay, I'm going to run this, and what it will do is it will show me this in a summary. So it says, how many E's were there? There's three. How many S's are there? There's seven. Easy. It counted them up for me so that I can see how people move through time, and ultimately we will store this off. So if I were to come up here, start a new population, but this time I'm going to run a whole lot more because I don't want to look at the whole list. There's going to be 100 of them. And remember, only the first guy... Is, or girl, is going to be the infected person. So we're going to run this. We're not going to look at them. Uh, however, we can run our table on this just to make sure. So we should have exactly one exposed, and that's exactly what we have. We have one exposed and 99 susceptible. Now, if I come back up through here and I start moving people through time, I'm going to run it once, and... Now four are exposed and 96 are susceptible. Move to the next time step. 16 are exposed, 84 are susceptible. And you notice the numbers are changing as we go along. Okay, And now we've reached this point. And what we could do is we could actually now pull out the ones who are susceptible and see what, they're, what they look like. So now let's just do this real quick before we move forward to the next video. So agent one, I want to take agent one where agent one state equals S, right? Because that's what we have. I just want to look at only these agents. And sure enough, look how low their mixing parameters are. These people are less likely to get the disease because they're not mixing with other people. This is just their innate mixing parameter that we assign to them. So people who have low mixing parameters or not mixing with lots of people are not becoming infected or exposed. All right, so now we can move on to the next state or the next video. Hopefully you're starting to see what an agent-based model does. And as we go through, we're going to keep making this more and more and more complicated, which makes this even more interesting to play with. All right, see you in the next video.